just trying to think through like what I like about the different systems better than you know what what are their strengths and weaknesses. So for me, cell swords. I go okay. ahead. No, go ahead. You're getting ready to answer. Go ahead. I love the cell swords. The uh, whatever that guy's name is, Andre, whatever yeah. his name is. Yeah. I love the. I'm gonna gamble that everybody's gonna go, and I roll my dice. Right. And then the the cell swords thing of you fouled up. Well, then they go. I really like that, I especially too. when you're playing solo. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. I like how the characters are built here better. Do you definitely Th I, this have is, more stats here to play with? Yeah, and it feels more like I have a, 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 a character right. and less like I'm moving a, the... F this is more RPG, that's more minis. Yeah. And it, it is more like in Cell Swords, they're almost like archetypes. Like you're moving... A chess piece. Or maybe a chess piece. Or, I wouldn't say chess piece because it doesn't feel that bland to yeah, me. Yeah, but, but, but you only have a certain number of stats. So you're moving a warrior of some strength here. Yeah. And you're not, you don't have a lot of different variation. In right, and you're starting to customize this guy. And you're like, oh, I want my guy to be an archer. And he's really good, so I'm at, Like, at first, he's pretty well-rounded. Like, I've got... Well, my guy's almost all hand-to-hand. -hand, but, I, yeah. you know, you could do whatever you want. And that's a little... I like this better. But I love that activation piece. That's the part I really I like, like about that. yeah too is that uh, this is very much like an I go you go yeah it's, you know your your rangers move then the bad guys move and your companions move and it just like keeps rotating through that game right again. but with the rolling and the cards like stuff is kind of, it's much more fluid stuff yeah. is happening unexpected stuff is yeah. happening much more often where guys are moving when you're hoping they aren't. They're popping up from behind stuff yep. all the time. Uh, a lot more surprises, a lot more sort of tension is my experience of it. Yeah. But I don't know what you guys think. You guys have played both as well. I, I haven't played Spell Swords. Or I, mean, Spell Swords. <laughs> I mean, we played once. Yeah, I remember that one. time. Yeah. But this one, I mean, because we only use maybe a quarter of the things on our sheet, it really is move, roll, 20 side, die, attack, yeah. right? And there's very little decision making except when to blow your cooldowns, right? Your little heroic abilities. That was the interesting part. Like, oh, should I use it or should I save it? Yeah. Um, I played. There's other games. I have played some fancy flight things, which are similar, where it's like a cooperative dungeon crawl. Um, and there's a lot more little things that you can tweak. You know, little abilities, or you have fatigue that you can blow. And there's a lot more interactive pieces within right. the room. Right. Um, yeah. And a lot more variety of, of bad guys and the yeah. way they coordinate and everything. Yeah. So this might have just been a set of scenarios with just the gnolls that didn't really show off a variety of things to interact with the, yeah, so stuff, it's, it's kind of hard for me to, to judge after just one night all, i really gotta the, get to this next piece all the scatter was just right terrain it just is like a modifier on your movement or a modifier on your right. shooting score you couldn't interact with it, right. it didn't so do the anything. Arm, you could have done something like the armory if they're next to the armory they can pick up a weapon so they get plus two to their attacks right. or the no. torture room you know the screams of the guys make a will check right. or you lose an action or to right. go past speed right exactly. there's little things you could do, could do to make each room different but it, to me it felt like all these rooms were very similar that's a great idea yeah absolutely so, yeah. And, it, it, and as a result you're right it like doesn't have as much flavor as you want it to have right well is is rangers set up to be solo play yes. solo or co-op because i think that could be a big part of it that it just makes it that like they don't put that in because if you're playing solo it's a lot more to keep track of you know so i think this could just this was written at like a simpler level but then I think anytime you're not doing solo play, that stuff should be included. Just yeah. because otherwise, you know, it's not just a challenge of like, can I fight we these could, guys? It's we like, could pretty easily make a, a scenario generator yeah. for the game. And every piece of terrain should have a test, a couple of, like a test. Oh, we roll and it's got, oh, 10 bad guys and two tests and yeah. whatever, something like that. That would be a neat thing to develop yeah. for it. Well, that's, and that's like what I tried to do with my dungeon yep, game. Exactly. Is, every special feature in that room you can go and interact with and it could have a different outcome your interaction every could have a different time outcome every right. time and yeah i think that you're that would this is very much run fight run fight run fight where it would be it just seems yeah. like you could build in pretty easily <laughs> more stuff to do yeah well yeah. especially because reading through the rules it said you know you've got our 15 skills or whatever it says if you don't have any bonuses in it just roll at a plus zero so the implication is you can try any skill, but we tried no skills except for climbing, which wasn't even really and set. Scouts, the but it, they were all at the initial part of the 
scenario to make yeah. a condition happen uh, or not. And then, yeah. yeah. But it yeah. would be cool. Every room has something. Especially um, that there's stuff called acrobatics, climb, yeah. stealth, strength, swim, traps, which I thought would have been really cool. Like if they booby trapped half. Well, of they did. Rooms. Remember? And then I I used instead of right, using yeah. traps, I used perception because I had right. a bonus to dodge it. So right, but that could have like those are all like active things that could just happen as you're walking. I know, and, and through the thing, yeah, or avoiding things because of. Yeah, the different, um, and then that leaves out like even, your arcanist and like other specialists that right. have read runes and cool navigation, like some really cool things that could yeah. be. If you don't have it in the scenario, then you're in a lot of trouble. And if it's too much to handle during a combat because there's so much going on, you could have in between combats, yeah. right? Oh, you finish this combat, so there's runes in the door. If you decipher yeah. it, this happens or this happens, yeah. right? Or like once could, the room's cleared, yeah, you could shove all of that because that could have like been the knowledge. captain's log should have had a uh, ancient lore or read yeah. runes. Oh. Yeah. This tells you that yeah. three stores, three doors down, there's or there's <laughs> you did this. Right. There is a secret door, <laughs> and you read it on the wall, yeah. and you can get in that room and get the drop on them. This does what it sets out to do. Yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah, but it's not as ambitious as I kind of want it to be. But I think a lot of that is not the game, but the scenarios. Because yeah, we all just described. Yeah. And I'm excited these to see are making him awesome. I, I'm interested to see what he does with that. The, the, it doesn't sound like it's as much a scenario thing as more pieces to it. Oh. And something you just said that made me think of... So we know how bad guys work, right? But an interesting thing you said is, like, in your game, each thing you walk in on the... the um, what was there? The altar in the one we did, right? Making a table... Not a table, but... A, a chart that has this and then decipher it this and then here's the bonus if you make it here's the mess up something yeah. like that would be awesome yeah. in a, a game like this yeah so um especially i think because it's co-op it would completely lend itself to yeah. that because it's solo co-op you could have something that is more even a little more deliberately paced where you have all these skill checks yeah. that you can do and all these environmental pieces that you can interact with um and then it's not you know you're not in a situation where everybody's just sitting around the table waiting for their turn kind of thing it should be when you're waiting for your turn trying to figure out like okay how are we gonna handle yeah. this or this new event has happened right. or what about that i can't wait to go over there yes yeah. especially because there's the mechanic of the companions who are not near you doing stuff because if you yeah. have your arcanist it's like they need to read these runes to open this magic door, yeah. but they're going to go after the monsters. Yeah. That could radically affect, like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. in trouble because we didn't stay close enough to our companion because we're fighting, but yeah. they need to be doing this at the same time, and that would be another tactical yeah. thing that we didn't have to worry about. <clears throat> yeah, like, the, the you could even do interesting AI behaviors where, like, you had those two prisoners in the back of the room and say you get to the point where there's only one no left maybe instead yeah. of him continuing to fight he runs back and tries to kill the prisoners yeah. so that you can't rescue them so and that's the other thing i was trying to figure out like why does this this is basically like early editions D, &D right it's you know you move and you attack but and but i felt like with even early editions D, &D you have more that's going on yeah. and i think it's because in D, D, it's you know the basic strategy is protect the wizard, right? He's only got two hit points, but he's got the sleep spell, right? So put the front line up, make sure nobody gets around to get to the wizard. And this, everybody's the same. All the rangers are pretty tough. Agree. There's no, and I don't. I hate to be like a kind of a purist about this stuff, but I, it just is my, what I enjoy. Like the rangers, there's nothing. It, it very much like the fact that they can have spells and that they. <laughs> Yeah. It's like they're just kind of a catch-all character. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're not, there's nothing <laughs> specific about them that makes them particularly interesting. Um, Did he do that so you can personalize them, do you think? Yeah, because you can have very different rangers. Like, yeah, but I don't like... I, I think ranger's ranger's is a ranger is a ranger. He's not like a ranger slash... I think it's the job title. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the part. And I, I know I'm kind of a purist in that no, regard. I, know. It's, but you got to I wish more. you would have called it heroes. And then you're... Sure. He, and then you, he, you can be a ranger, or you can yeah. be a, a, a battle wizard, or you could be the well, I think, rogue guy. Yeah, I think the problem is that you said ranger, which is a class in Dungeons and & Dragons. Yeah. And there's a mindset. If that. these had been called wardens, yeah. 
That could have been different. They'd be like, just, we're, or Guardians. You know, something yeah, that shows that this is our show. Guardians. Yeah, then you're like, okay, that'd cool. Been, that'd yeah. have been a great time. Because I feel like my guy was very different than yours, and from what you guys did, also very different. We just didn't use a lot of our abilities, except, for, know, except for healing. Were they that different, except for equipment and skills? I mean, the stat and, lines and were very abil- close. Oh, that's fine, but special abilities. But I guess I would have even liked the idea of even having more, like, archetypes, like a fighter or wizard, whatever, that the stat line was actually different. Right, but I, what you I think the problem with that is because it's set up for solo play. If you mm-hmm. do not play with a strong ranger character as a single player, you will lose. Based on how the game's set up. I guess. If you go in with a wizard by yourself. No, but you go in with companions. So you go with a wizard with some like strong And then you're, like you said, you have your front line of guys that block for the wizard. That would be, okay, that's a good point. That would be pretty interesting to have like a guy in the back with a bunch of like henchmen men at arms trying to protect you. Yeah, I just, I would, I kind of would, I feel a little hemmed in by the character that you have to play. Right. 